Hey guys, just wanted to touch base on the uh, Strymon Timeline uh, operator with the Lemur application for iPad and some of the control functionality that we've been talking about here on the gear page um, that it brings to the table. It's a very, very cool setup. Uh, this was done by one of uh, our very own on the gear page here, a couple posts up, uh, some programming that was done. It's just uh, an intuitive, fantastic uh, way to control your timeline. So uh, I just want to go through a couple of the adjustment figures and kind of give you guys the overview of exactly what it's capable of doing. Uh, the screen that we have up right now is the graphical interface uh, for the timeline mirroring all of the timeline settings kind of in a logical layout. Um, over here we've got all of our settings, all of the timeline presets uh, that they uh, allow you to have which is uh, just great. We want to get into a debucket, we just hit it. It's going to give all of those settings. You can go in and manipulate as you can see the timeline moves uh, with it through the MIDI interface. That comes standard. Lots of cool stuff in there. Over here we've got preset built. Uh, you can program those directly into how you're playing the guitar, what presets you want to la line it up with. It's really, really cool stuff. So if you want to hit preset 3, boom, you hit it. It's going to get you right there. And then inside of that preset you can just make the adjustments that you want to the timeline. Uh, not a very good live setup, but uh, there are mic stands with iPad holders uh, for those of you adventurous enough to give that kind of thing a try. This is uh, more of a recording uh, recording studio basement kind of thing uh, that you're going to want to just check out down there. But uh, also another cool development that we have is another preset screen. Program it up. One through nine. You're going to change right through those presets. Anytime you want them on call, you just bring them right up, go back and forth. Uh, with that, you can get your tails on or off, uh, trail that right in. That's going to carry over to your presets. You can change delays. Tap tempo functions, changes. As you can see with, uh, with the tap, boost line level right now set to 3 dBs when it's on. That's programmable as well change that uh, as you see fit. The intention here is to get this lined up with the Mobius over there. Two separate MIDI channels, same kind of interface. You're going to be able to change the presets on your timeline and your Mobius simultaneously or individually just depending on how much time you want to spend with the Lemur application uh, doing the programming. So check it out. Maybe we'll save some of you for dumping those timelines on the Euporium, give you a new hobby to do uh, computer programming, I don't know. Thanks for taking the time to look. We'll get into the looper section uh, at some point. I have not had time to play around with it, to be perfectly honest with you. So when I dive into uh, his program here, I will get back to you guys with uh, the successes or failures, therefore, of it. So again, timeline lemur, graphical interface through an iRig into the MIDI controllers of the timeline. Fabulous.